The story of Aolami. Now, who is Aolami? C is half Filipino, half Samoan, and it's a guy big and by like that. So, one thing you have to know on this channel is, you know, I am the real thing. I do have a history like, you know, much rappers do. So, to keep it cursed, Cali, Dog, and Sonic, I'm gonna talk about Aolani. Aolani was a girl on the dance floor lately, um, with Justin Timberlake, and, you know, um, Timberlin just came out with, um, a new song called, you know, AO Technology. And so, when I went up to her, you know, I looked like Chicken Marley, you know, I had, you know, a square, you know, shirt, with, you know, um, brown sleeves, you know, I had, you know, um, blue, uh, 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 green shoes that looked like, you know, Skechers, you know, um, just regular plain jeans, and I was a square, I had a very squeaky voice, you know, I just went up to her and just asked her, um, uh, what's your name, and she said, Ayo Lani, and so, um, I actually sang the song, I'm like, Ayo, I'm tired of using technology, and, and when I sang that song, I was so hyped do you know uh, work with Christopher Sabat because he works with little kids and he understands that you know ever since him being a creep he understands that you know that corny shit is actually pretty good because we all go through that phase of the hood where we can be any hood nigga where we can be this this and that we're the top shot around town but it's good to go back to the old days but you know what ends up happening is you know this is a phase you know people abuse it <laughs> yeah, it was really corny, but she actually liked it. She said, you know, a couple of people said that to her earlier. And what ended up happening was, you know, um, I'll put my little strategy in, you know, what people say, you know, is mid-tier. But it's not really mid-tier until you get to Scott. So, in doing so, you know, on the dance floor, what I did was, Ayo Lonnie was a girl that I met on the dance floor. And what happened was she was hanging with her friends, they were playing, you know, hype music like in Bucket here, they were doing all that. Literally, and so what I did was literally I stood, you know, back behind the stage, you know, I was right in front of the stage, literally, I put my back straight up, literally, and she was in line, she was crooked, her hella girls in line, literally, and she backed it up on me, literally, when I waited for her and I put myself in that position and my dick got as hard as a log. Now I grew up, you know, in order to recognize that's disrespectful, literally. When somebody's dick gets hard, literally, and you feel it. You don't go out with him, and you just play this both heads literally thing like literally. You're just standing there literally. No one told you to be there. That's really something because that's a whole thing happening. And your argument in society saying you should be more multi-dimensional, literally. You should mind your own business. You should do this, this, and that, literally. Remember, that's my side versus yours. That's me explaining that versus your multi-dimensionality. Because that's what the whole world is, literally. I did all that, literally. I was absolutely this and that. Someone without her longer, literally. That's multi-dimensionality because of playing sports and such and such and that. And then. What ended up happening was I ended up, you know, um, cock-blocking her one day when she was over at Courtney's house when there was a guy, literally, that was, you know, strong, literally, that uh, I think, you know, best 200 in a black tee. And what happened was him and A.O. Lottie were about to kiss, literally, and I stood down, literally, oh, like Captain Sable Ho, literally, I jumped over the bed. He's like, is he playing dead? This was hella funny. I was watching, you know, break dances on YouTube, literally, when they get side or freaking soldier, throw himself into a tank like Rogata. Do all this shit and I know he can do it, <laughs> but I still cock blocked him. And you know, in order to butt in, in order to show you my grown man, you know, for a second, all my cock blocks have chemistry and that's why they're the best dance partners. There's two, you know, great dance partners I have. There's Amy and then there's Aolani. Shout out to my boy Andre. Hey Eris, this sounds like a nearest snake user. So what ends up happening is Aolani goes out with that guy for, you know, nine years, you know, um, and, you know, um, we do have external, you know, information that, you know, uh, she set him up, you know, um, she asked Robert, you know, in PE, aka r on my channel, but, you know, let's be real, his real name is Robert, and Robert was reading the Bible, and literally she said that, you know, there's this little kid from Centerville that, you know, eventually has to do a sequence that he's gonna, you know, explain that it's disrespectful, and that is external, but it has to be up front. So, the meaning of, you know, Aolani is that it is the perfect couple and she's been playing him the whole time, but the big principle is there. You know, I became that guy later, but it didn't matter because I always fell back on that admin nerd. But anyway, this is a story between me and Aolani.